<laughs> Hello there everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Gabe and today we have the Magic the Gathering Commander Elven Empire pre-constructed deck to open. Uh, previously we opened the AC, Reap the Tides uh, pre-con, pre pre-constructed deck, and we had a, a good time doing that. I was very excited to see what was in there. And now, this time, we are going to be getting to the Elven Empire one. Now, this one just came out here in 2021, I believe. So this is one of the newer ones. We've got this one and then uh, Phantom Premonition as well that is coming out. So I figured we'd open this one and give it a, give it a shot here. You can see we've got the two types here, green and black. And then, uh, yeah. So we saw that we can just kind of pop this open so we don't destroy the whole thing. <clears throat> Let's get that open there like that. Pops it up right there. And then as long as you do a little shimmying, you can get it out without too much damage. Oop. Don't mind that. Well, It is what it is. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over there. All right, let me take that out of that. Nothing in there. We can recycle this. Take this out. Whoop. Recycle. And pop that out. Nothing in here. Recycle. All right. Very cool. So we take these and let's just look what we've got here. So very similar to the other one, you've got the learn to play commander, although instead of the blue one, this time it is uh, green. And this is a really nice picture just as the other one was. Awesome. So we'll keep that on hand just in case. We also have our deck box, just like we did the last time. Pop that closed, and you can see the different sides here. Very nice. Yeah, I do, I, I love these boxes here. These are so cool, where they have the picture and then the, just the, like the emblem on here. Very nice, very nice. Uh, cool. We also have the damage counter here, your life counter. This one goes similarly to the other one from 40 down to 21 on one side and then 20 down to one on the other. Keep that there. Let's take a look at Lathril, Blade of the Elves here. This is a legendary creature, Elf Noble. Their card has Menace. Whenever Lathril, Blade of the Elves, deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens. If you tap it, tap 10 untapped elves you control. Each opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. So this is a wild card. Not a, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, and it's only uh, four mana to cost, so that is very, very cool. We're, uh, again, this one does have a little bowing to it, a little banana, so, uh, like I said in the other one, just put a card sleeve on this, put it in a book, you should be fine after a little while. We'll put that there. Similarly with the other one, I did forget to say this at the beginning, we have another uh, Dragon Shield card sleeves that we're going to be opening up. This one is green. I picked Emerald Matte because I figured uh, it's the elves. We're in the forest. We might as well go with Emerald. So at the end here, we will put a few cards in this one, see how it looks. I'm excited to check that out. Till then though, let us... I just realized, I don't know if this was on the other one or not, but you have a nice little uh, pulley tab thing. You can just pull that around so that you don't do what I did in the last video. <laughs> and struggle nearly as much. So we'll take these off. <clears throat> and like the last time, we're just gonna go have these and go from there. So we have Ambition's Cost. 
Eye Blight Colors, Eye Blight Massacre, Lizalana Scarblade, very cool. Miara, Thorn of the Glade. So these are a bunch of elves. Pride of the Perfect. The Prowess of the Fair. Oh look, it's Mr. Tumnus. We have Elvish Mystic. We have Elvish Promenade. Look at all of them, so happy. Elvish Rejuvenator. Farhaven Elf. <laughs> Jagged Scar Archers. A Lanawar Tribe. We have a Liz Alana Huntmaster. A Null Mage Shepherd, although I don't know what it's shepherding. It looks like it's a mix between boars and woolly mammoths. We have Numa Joraga Chieftain. Reclamation Sage. We have a Spring Bloom Druid. Sylvan Messenger. A Timber Watch Elf. We have the Voice of Many. We have Wirewood Channeler. We have Wood Elves. The Abomination of Lanoir. Yep, that's about what I see when I look in the mirror. Golgari Find Broker. A Moldervine Reclamation. We have a Poison Tip Archer. Putrefy. We have Shaman of the Pack. Pact of the Serpent. We have a Ruthless Winnower. A Serpent's Soul Jar, Bounty of Skemfar, Canopy Tactician, Crown of Skemfar, Wolverine Riders, Elderfang Venom, Beast Whisperer, Cultivator of Blades, Dwinen, Gilt Leaf Dane, Elvish Arch Druid, and raise forerunners. We've got more of those hyenas, or not hyenas, those are uh, boars looking like wildebeests. We've got a harvest season, and that is all we have in the first half. Let's go ahead and check out the second half. All right, we've got the second half here has the Imperious Perfect. We have a Marwin, the Nurturer. We have Masked Admirers. That looks a lot like a theater production. Rise the Exiled. We have Voice of the Woods. We have Casualties of War. Twin Blade Assassins. An Arcane Signet. Very cool. We have a Soul Ring. Command Tower. Oh, it's, the, uh, it's Sauron. We have a Foul Orchard, we have Golgari Guildgate, a Golgari Rot Farm, I think that's Shrek Swamp. We have a Jungle Hollow, we have a Myriad Landscape, Path of Ancestry, Swamp, Swamp, Swamps. So we've got a whole bunch of Swamp lands, then we have a bunch of Forest lands here. And then, after that, we have some more creatures. We have an uh, Elder Fang Ritualist. We have Poison the Cup. Return upon the Tide. We have a Skemfar Shadow Sage. We have a Turgrid's Shadow. An Elven Ambush. Jespera Sentinel. Roots of Wisdom. Ooh, we have Binding the Old Gods. Herald, King of Skemfar. Skemfar Elderhall. And then we have some token creatures here, which is a, a, an elemental. And we have an elf warrior. We have one, two, three, four of those. Then we have uh, two elementals. Oh, wait. Oh, no. We have... Uh, we have six of those. Okay, we have six of those. And then we have this token artifact creature, Servo, which looks like a uh, Protoss. Uh, and another Elf Warrior, Servo, Elf Warrior, Servo, Elf Warrior, Servo, Elf Warrior. And then we have the popular magic formats and what to do on your turn. So, not a bad deck, really. 
There's a lot of good stuff in here. I'm excited uh, to get to try one of these uh, one of these decks, uh, meaning that or the AC. Um, I think Julianne and I will play this, or, or John and I will play this, uh, which is our brother-in-law. So it'll be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Trusty knife. Go ahead and just kind of poke in there. And see how this looks. Unfortunately, this one's a little smooshed. That's okay, though. So, yeah, so I will be interested in playing these uh, different decks and letting you know which ones I found more fun than the others. Uh, I imagine that they're all going to be pretty fun. But, um, yeah, we'll just see if, if there's one that I like better. Now, these look really nice. I like these. Come on out. There we go. So these have a really good color here. So you can see it's this emerald green. And similar to the other ones, it's got that almost sparkle kind of to it. And then you turn it over, it's the clear, but it has the green on this side too. So this is actually a very nice looking sleeve. I do like the looks of this one, probably a little bit better than the black one, honestly. Let's go ahead and put Lathril in here, see what... Uh, how that looks. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, this feels pretty good uh, as far as, you know, putting it in and, and handling it. These do have a, a sturdiness to them that the other ones don't quite have. So we put three in here. We can see how they look. Yeah. Now the other ones, um, I did try to put them into this box. It says up to 75 sleeved cards. I was able to fit like 60 in there, uh, and that was pretty tight. So I don't think that you're going to fit 75 in here. I'm personally going to be looking for some of those ones that maybe have like a magnetic top over it or whatever that's that's just bigger than this box because you know there's no way to fit all 100 of your cards in there uh that being said though they're nice sleeves and uh you i'm sure that you can find a use for the box otherwise even if you just wanted to store extra cards in here if you wanted to store this in here it would work that way so as with the uh other one the ac reap the tides bundle this one has this nice box with it and you are able to put the cards that are sleeved, like this, right on into here. Now, as I previously mentioned, I thought that it wouldn't uh, fit because they've got this kind of bubble in here where it bubbles up. Once you have all the cards in there, you are able to get them down and they fit really nicely. You can fit all 100 cards in there. It's a little tight, it's a little snug, but if you're careful while you put them in there, you'll be just fine. Awesome. Well, I think that about does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching and checking out what's in this deck. Um, the next one should be the Phantom Premonition deck that we're going to do. So let me know what you think of this one. If you've played it, what you know, how you play it and all that jazz. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day and take care of yourselves. Bye bye.